interesting to watch. Right now, Birmingham police are investigating after a local activist's church is broken into for two nights in a row. And now police are looking for whoever might be responsible for these crimes. Tonight, CBS 42 news reporter Cameron Edgeworth is speaking to the church pastor and is live in studio right now. Cameron, how is this impacting that church? Well, tonight's prayer service was canceled at Jesus World Ministry Church due to the burglaries. Church pastor Apostle Wanda Stephen does not know when church services will continue. Apostle Wanda Stephen trying to figure out how her church will move forward. She says she can't believe someone broke into her church two nights in a row. Monday night they came in, they took my uh, sound system, my guitar, my microphones, uh, fan to go in the bathroom. Last night they came in, they took my air condition. Stephen founded the Mothers Who Want the Violence to Stop organization after her son was shot and killed 12 years ago. She works to end violence in the Birmingham community. She says she doesn't know what the church will do next. This is my church, small congregation. And God knows I don't have the money to buy another air condition. I don't have the money to buy no more equipment for my church. No mics, no sound system. I don't have the money. Dennis Brown is the pastor of West End Hills Missionary Baptist Church down the street and says it's concerning. There's something missing in a person's life when they will go so far as to break into a church. There's something missing. Wanda Stephen has a message to whoever's responsible for the crime. That God bless his soul, save his soul. Because he's going in God's house and he's taking stuff from God's house, not only coming in but tearing the house off. That's not right. It's nothing but the devil. But I know God is in control. And I pray that they get him and lock him up for a very long time. Wanda Stevens says someone actually broke into the church back in 2014 as well. If you know anything about this case, you're asked to call Birmingham Police. In the studio, Cameron Edgeworth, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.